Professor Van Duil, today you give a talk about uh, the transmission of microbiome from mother to newborn. What can, what can we say about that? Okay, so um, basically there's a, a huge impact during the transmission from the microbiota from the mother towards the microbiome and that happens actually at different stages yeah um, already during pregnancy um, there is a change or a shift in the microbiome from the mothers and um, the question there of course is well um, what is this change having as a consequence once the child is actually being born um, because of course um, the old school says well when the child is being born you have two extreme pathways which are occurring or scenarios either you have the vaginal delivery or you have the cesarean section yeah and we see that there's a tremendous difference in the microbial colonization from um, children who are born through the vaginal uh, delivery or through cesarean section so in that sense that change in microbiome during the third trimester with the mother will have certainly an impact also on the vaginal microflora and in other words, also towards uh, the, the, the microbiota that are um, colonizing the child when it is being delivered through a vaginal pathway. However, on the other hand, we see that there are other um, changes happening and the old school is, is becoming um, contradicted by other new findings. And that is that we currently, or we used to think that the uterus, the womb, is normally sterile. Yeah? And we see that with the recent developments that this is actually not the case. The womb is not sterile. The child, so the fertilized egg, the embryo, the fetus is actually developing in an environment which is already colonized by microbes. And the big question is, okay, um, what impact do those microbes have towards the development of the child? Yeah? But also maybe towards the installation of the uh, fertilized egg into the um, uterus uh, wall. And in that sense, it may also be linked towards certain fertility problems um, that certain women have um, in, in, uh, during their life. Another aspect, um, once that you have actually an embryo development, is that um, another a mystery and, and a myth that, that we thought well was really a sterile environment is a placenta. The placenta was normally considered to be a very sterile environment and actually functioning as some kind of a barrier between the mother and, and the child for having only passage of nutrients etc. But we see that there's also um, a microbial colonization process taking place. Whether it is really active microbes we do not know. However on the other hand we know or we do see that um, because of the fact that the placental environment is also important in terms of immune development for the child, that maybe that microbiome that we find back in the placenta may also have an impact on the immune training process for the child later on. Now, once a child is born, also then we see that um, there are certain changes depending on the scenario or the, the um, uh, factors that are, that are playing a role. And that is, for example, feeding. Yeah? Um, when we have differences between C-section delivered children and vaginal delivered children in the first couple of days, we do see that these differences disappear um, if you give the child a consistent feeding pattern. And that could be like either breastfeeding with mother with breast milk or formula fed feeding, yeah? so with, with formula um, uh, milk. And we see that that choice of diet that you provide towards a child that, that has also a very dominant impact and maybe the most important impact towards a child microbiome and again um, we do see that um, children being fed with um, uh, breast milk that they have a higher abundance of um, bifidobacteria for example and that is resulting not only from certain microbes that may be already colonizing that maternal uh, uh, milk um, uh, environment but also from specific compounds that are present inside the maternal milk for example human milk oligosaccharides which are a very specific um, uh, uh, feed for the uh, bifidobacteria inside the child's gut so in that sense you see that um, there's a huge difference in microbial the composition depending on different scenarios depending on different body sites uh, both with the mother as the child and depending on those different scenarios we will also have another um, immune development and also another immune training and um, uh, health consequence for the for the child I think